Okay, I, it's blowing my mind right now. I feel like I'm in the junket scene from Notting Hill right now. <laughs> I know, London makes it challenging. Right? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm from Horse and Hound magazine. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so my first question for you guys is, you know, your character says you judge people by what shoes they wear. In your own lives, what tips you off about certain people? Well... Let me guess yours. Okay, guess. I'm just kidding, you do it. No, guess, try to guess. There's no way you're gonna I, get it right. Well, I, I think I'm gonna get this right. I okay. think it's from... Their... Hair. It is very informative. You are correct. Yes, yes. Good job. Now you guess mine. Okay. You are informed by people based on their breath. Close enough. <laughs> sometimes maybe, sometimes maybe that will be the case, but no. Usually it's the clothes. It's the clothes. But you're very smartly dressed. Much Thank you. You too. Ever. Thank you so much. Um, how do we get away from judging books by their cover? How do we actually really do that? Practice. Practice. I mean, I'm a grown-up person, and I remember meeting somebody a number of years ago, and I thought as soon as she walked in the room, I knew everything I needed to know. And I was 99.3% wrong. And we're friends to this day, and every time I see her, it sort of reminds me in this beautiful way how completely wrong I was about this person. Um, so it's practice. Okay, now who was that? <laughs> And, and what about you? Well, I just want to say there's a famous quote to that question, be on the face is a heart, but... Oh, that's sweet, Jacob. Yeah. That's nice. Get me out of here. But I... Do you mind repeating that question, please? I... No, you answered it perfectly. And he has 64 seconds left, and he's going to ask us a different question. OK, oh sounds Boy, good. I love you so much. <laughs> Um, all right, can we get through this movie without crying? Is it possible to get through this film without crying? I got through this movie without crying. Probably just because I'm a kid and I know it's fake. Well, it's, you know, I think because you went through it all as Augie, you know all the things that are coming, and because your character pulls so hard at the rest of us, it's kind of hubris to cry at things that you're doing that make the rest of us cry. Mm -hmm. So I think that is to your character that you didn't cry. But... Yeah. No one's going to get through this without crying a little bit, even if it's just that choked feeling in your throat. But not just because it's deeply sad, because it's so meaningful and tender and gentle. It's not something that's just going to make you feel like you're a puddle on the floor. It's going to make you feel, I think, ultimately, like any of us can be and do anything we want. Final question, Julia Roberts. It's been 20 years since Best Friend's Wedding. Mm. What would Jules be doing now? Where is she? Well, since I'm still such great friends with Dermot and we see each other on a regular basis, I, you know, I just kind of feel like, well, I'd be married to this great guy called Danny and have three kids and Dermot's married to this great woman and has two daughters and has a almost grown up son and, and, uh, and we're still best friends. There you go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I mean, you're very wise beyond your years, young Thank man. You. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.